In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the second component to an effective bunch tight end offense in Madden 21, and that is the ability to be able to counter your power play, to have something that basically can essentially counter what your power play does naturally. And so we're going to dive into that in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know uh, who I am, my name is Cody and my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. Every single day we upload videos that can help you get better offensively and defensively in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better again, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now we're talking about the bunch tight end. And if you want to get my entire gun bunch tight end offensive guide you can get that in the description of this video for just $15 it actually covers the bunch tight end it covers the bunch and it also covers the trips tight end offset these are three very very powerful formations from the New York Jets offensive playbook and so if you want to learn exactly how I run them you can get that in the description of this video now again, we're talking in this video about power and counter plays. And I thought of no better no better place to go to our counter play than the play tight end corner. And the reason why, um, so we talked yesterday about our power play, which is PA boot over, but I'm gonna actually put a little bit of a spin on uh, tight end corner in this video. And we're gonna run it a little bit differently than we've ever ran this before. And I actually think it's gonna pay off for us quite a bit. So um, I'm gonna come out in the PA boot over, but I'm gonna be audibly into tight end corner. The main reason I wanna come out in PA boot over is just so that I always have my access, the access to the five plays that I wanna be able to use on the offensive side of the ball. Now the first thing that we have to be able to beat if we're gonna be effective is we have to be able to beat cover four. And so, um, because we know from we, we know from experience, right, that cover four is the defense that gives PA boot over the most, uh, most problem, cover four drop in particular. And so, uh, as far as adjustments go, what I like to do is I like to take my running back and put him on a little five yard, a little option route, just like so. I like to take my square receiver and I'm gonna put him on a little fade pattern, as you can see right there. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, and you can do this, I mean, again, you could do all kinds of, there's different ways to run this play. This is just one way to run this play, okay? There are different ways to run this. This is just gonna be a traditional flood, okay? So it's a traditional flood. So all we're gonna do is take circle, put him on a little flat. Might put him on an out route. I particularly actually like the flat a little bit better. And then with the tight end, what I like to do is I simply just go ahead and either put him on a delay drag or I'll smart route his corner route. You can do either one, both are effective, okay? So the snap of the ball, the first thing is you're gonna look to see if you can throw that. As you saw right there, they end up taking away that route because the purple zone is shaded at about five, uh, shaded at about five yards, so I can't throw the flat. But the next thing I wanna go over is the corner route to the triangle receiver. So you're gonna notice that this triangle receiver is going to literally get wide open. As you can see, it's literally an easy read for you to be able to do, for you to be able to uh, beat this. And that beats, the beauty of this is that that, um, that little route will beat pretty much everything that they do. Um, the beauty of the PA boot over is for them to stop the crossing route, um, then they have to basically do a very specific adjustment, right? They have to have 30 yard flat zones or 25 yard flat zones to even have a chance. Well, the beauty of this corner route is it can run forever. As you can see right there, that's a 25 yard, that right there was a 25 yard flat zone and that corner route just absolutely demolished it. Another thing that I wanna show you in this video is I wanna show you the beauty of putting the square receiver on this play on a little fade route. So if I go to tight end corner, again, I'm putting square on a fade. Um, if you wanted to, you could put circle on a fade and we'll talk about that in just a moment, but you could do it either way, okay? But basically we've got the traditional flood and then as you'll see right here, and again, it's hard to kind of show because of the where the cover three is, but you will oftentimes have windows to be able to hit that against a cover three. So let me try to show this uh, with the other receiver circle. So if I did this kind of flood concept right here, same exact concept, right? It's just now, as you can see, the outside third is more in the corner route. He's more, he's playing it more um, because of who is on the vertical route. That is why I, I like to recommend to people to go ahead and you know just put the outside guy on the fade. You don't have to fade him if you don't want to, but I just personally think it works the best. Okay, so again, simple is better than you know complex. So 
We've got this setup right here. This is our, ba our base. Now, if you look to the right side, what you're gonna notice is that if they run some type of cover three Babel, you're gonna dot them all day long on that right side of the field. As you can see, that tight end route is going to do a really, really good job. Um, now, what about, like, what if they ran like a cover four drop? I just wanna go over that just briefly because the cover four drop is probably the best chance your opponent has at being successful defensively against the PA boot over. And if you watch the tight end route, you're gonna see that it's gonna consistently kill the cover four drop, easy read from that tight end. So that's why I like to keep that route on the play. You don't have to if you don't want to. There are other ways that you can run this same concept and be effective. There's actually several ways to run this play that can help you be effective. Part of it is, part of being effective on offense is choosing where to simplify. Where do you start and, and how do you do it? So another little step that you could take if you wanted to is you could go to the play tight end corner and all you're going to do is just streak the circle receiver. You're going to take the running back, put him on the option route. And then with the tight end, you're going to put him on a delay drag. This is actually probably like the perfect counter play to PA boot over, but it does require you to motion this guy outside. As you can see right here uh, with this motion, as you can see, um, you're still able to hit, you're still able to hit Devontae Adams over on that left side. Now I wanna briefly just kind of spend just a little bit more time on cover four drop, just specifically talking through, you know, what it would look like if they ran some type of essentially a cover four drop Mabel coverage where they have a double flat on the left side. So if we talk about that, then you're gonna see here the same exact kind of concept. But essentially what we're doing is, as you can see, we've got the fade out there. We've got a little five yard out route. This really is primarily designed to help us with match coverages. As you can see here though, that creates a little bit of a problem when we face a cover four drop. The problem is if we face cover four match, you really kind of run into the same problem. And we're going to talk about that for here in just a second. Um, Cause I want to go over, I want to go over cover four quarters. I didn't talk about that when I was talking about PA but over, but obviously match coverage is a defense that you're going to see in this game um, if you play it at the highest, highest level. So again, we're gonna come out in the PA boot over, but we're gonna audible to tight end corner. And if you wanna get this entire offense, you can get the whole thing in the description. Again, it's just 15 bucks. But I'm gonna go to tight end corner now, and I just want you to watch cover four quarters, and we're gonna run it the first way that we talked about, uh, where it's just basically a traditional flood. If you watch a triangle receiver, you're gonna see this right there. You see that they switch off and they match onto him. The beauty of this, this play is depending on how they set their cover four quarters up, if they run cover four quarters like that, like they just did where it's stock, this is essentially going to turn into the flood concept. You're going to see that you're gonna basically be able to instantly one play score over the cover four quarters with a simple little fade route from the far outside receiver. What this is gonna force your opponent to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to go ahead and put a deep half out there on that safety side. Now, the beauty of this for the bunch tight end and the way that the bunch tight end works in particular is let's take a look at what this does. So if we if we run that same concept here, what you're gonna see is actually plays it properly, right? They switch off really nicely and they play it properly. But the problem is if they consistently do that adjustment, there are other things that you can do. And this is where it's really, really important to be able to understand all of those. So that's where the next setup comes in. So if they if you start to notice that they're when they when they you know they're running match coverage and you need something to change it up a little bit, then you can do this. You can basically take the circle receiver and put him on a streak. You have the five yard little out route, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna have a lot of really, really powerful things that are gonna happen for you. As you can see right here, that corner route now becomes absolutely wide open, so much so that you can um, so so much so that you know it's just an easy, simple read. Let me show you that one more time. So again, if they're running a cover four defense and they decide they want a deep half on that left side, what you can do is you can go to tight end corner, streak the circle receiver, and then you're just gonna motion out the square receiver just like so. You're gonna see that the match defense is going to sit on him. They're gonna probably shift over to the circle receiver, but you're gonna have your corner route wide open. These are some of the reasons as to why the bunch tight end is probably the most dominant simple offense in Madden 21. It works very similarly to the gun bunch, but in a lot of ways it can do a lot more. It's actually a little bit more robust in my opinion. And so obviously you wanna be able to run them together, but if you wanna learn how I run the bunch tight end the exact way that I do it, I would encourage you to get the, the guide that is in the description. You can get the entire offense for just $15. It breaks down both the bunch, the bunch tight end, and as well as the trips tight end offset. Thanks for watching. And again, if you wanna get the guide, it is down in the description.